Hello, my name is Milo and I am a material scientist specialized in nanotechnology and I will explain how things work. Today I will talk about anodizing. Anodizing is an electrochemical process where a thick oxide layer is grown on a metal surface. And uh, for this process we will need basically a power source, so this over here, then uh, the electrolyte bath over here, it is uh, prepared from uh, stainless steel, so it will not corrode. And uh, this uh, electrolyte bath is uh, built uh, with acid. Uh, and of course, the final most important piece is uh, this uh, aluminum, which we are going to anodize. So, I will now put this metal into the solution. And after making sure that uh, the surfaces are parallel with each other, I can uh, start this anodizing process by basically turning on the power. And now I will simply need to wait like 30 minutes or so. Here is the schematic of the anodizing system again with all the important components. It is very important that the aluminum part serves as an anode in this two electrode system, meaning it needs to be connected to the positive wire marked with red color. The anodizing solution and electrical parameters are chosen based on the type of anodizing. During the anodizing process the metal is slowly oxidized. The great thing about anodizing is that during the process the material's dimensions do not significantly change since the porous oxide layer is generated at the cost of the metal. The 30 minutes are up, so let's see what happened. I will turn off the power supply unit and take out the sample. As you can see from the grey color, it is clearly oxidized. So the analyzing was successful. Thanks for watching and leave your comments in the section below.